So today, my client is going to be having a new look today. So she wants to go a bit shorter. So I've had a chat with my client, like how short do you want to go? And she wants to go a uh, graduated bob. So shorter at the back and longer around the front. And I was like, okay, you sure? And she goes, yeah. So um, she's made up her mind and she's going to have a new look. So what a good um, opportunity for me to show you how I do a graduated bob. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this dry. So I normally do it wet, but I have done um, a graduated bob before on dry and it does come out amazing. It does look really, really good. And the thing is, like, obviously she's a doll's head and, you know, <clears throat> she's had a lot of colour, a lot of colour going on in her hair for me to do, like, my tutorials and stuff like that. So it's now time for her to have a change. Now, if someone comes into the salon and they've got really, like, dry hair on the ends, um, a lot of um, clients um, just want... Uh, a lot cut off don't they so you know they want a new look and stuff like that and I find when you cut the hair um, dry you can see like what needs coming off a lot more um, I'm not saying obviously you know when you do it wet as well you can't see it like that but I think when we cut we use our eyes a lot more don't we so I'm going to do this dry so you know <laughs> It's going to be really, really good, so trust me. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to spin her round, okay? So these ends are fairly quite dry now anyway, so it needs it needs all coming off. So basically, she's having a haircut, a new look. So I'm going to oh, spin her round. <laughs> Um, right, let me just spin the... There we go. So basically, I found my client's part in, so she's got a middle part in, and we are going to section down from the crown to the nape, okay? So section the hair. I still haven't got a new stand, by the way. <laughs> I will get one. Right, so I've sectioned from the crown down to the nape, okay? I'm now going to take my diagonal sections... So, my first one will be from the crown to the top of the ear, okay? And we're just going to clip her out of the way. <clears throat> like so. And then, I'm going to do the same this side. So, from crown on to the top of the ear, clip her out the way, I'm using the Kirby grip because I haven't got any um, section clips with me, <laughs> I don't know what I've done with them, <laughs> there we go, right so we have now got our section at the back <clears throat> right, so now I'm going to section underneath, okay? And I'm going to take my diagonal sections. Remember, always nice clean section. Okay, and then take the next section. Underneath. So we've got something like that, okay? So, once you've had your consultation with your client and you're happy and your client's happy on how much you're going to be taking off. 
So we, we're going to take it fairly short. Just want to get rid of all those ends, okay? So I've got my section ready. I'm now going to take my middle section, okay? And I'm cutting my guide. So I'm just going to do it just below the neck, okay? So it came right down, and then you want to make your first cut, okay? So I'm just going to cut straight across in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Any further. So you got something like that, okay? And then I work from my left. and then angle my finger down. Can you see that? So I'm angling my fingers down. So I'm not like that, I'm angling it down. So my first section, I've cut straight across, okay? So that's gonna be my guide and I'm working beside it. So I'm working on the left. So I comb the hair right from the root through to the ends, but I'm angling my fingers down, okay? And I'm gonna cut. So you've got something like that. So I'm angling down. You have to bear with me today. She is so wobbly, the stand. So, yeah. So I'm working now from my right, okay? So I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I'm not angling my fingers that way. I'm not angling my fingers straight. I'm angling them down. So if you think you're pointing your fingers down to the floor, okay? So I've cut my middle section straight across and then I've angled my finger down to the floor from the left. Now I'm working on the right and I'm going to angle my fingers down to the floor. Okay. So you can see my guide here. So what you want to do, you want to angle your fingers, but then angle your fingers towards the guide into the middle. Okay. So we're not like that. We're not like that. We're angling it down. So this is what we're going to do on the left hand side. So angle your fingers down and then you cut. And then you check your balance. I'm going to lift her up slightly because she's going to tilt. So you've got something like that, okay? So it's angling down. It's a bit um, wavy this side, <laughs> but yeah, you, you angle your fingers down, okay? Right, so we've checked our balance. So I'm just going to check this side and it's slightly a little bit longer on this side. So that's okay. So we just go over what we've done. That's it. Perfect. So we've checked our balance. Okay, so once we're happy with our first cut at the back because that is so important because that's going to be your guide throughout the whole haircut okay so now I'm just going to take down the next section so I'm taking half an inch section above okay She's very wobbly today and um, I've misplaced my clips. So I'm using, I'm using Kirby grips, <laughs> but it's working. So, you know, just improvising. <clears throat> right, so I'm taking the next section above, half an inch, above, that's it. Make sure you get clean sections. Oops, that. Right, 
yeah, the stand with the legs, they keep unclosing. <laughs> so it's making that unstable. Right, I think. We'll get there. So, right, I've taken my next section, okay? So you can see my guide under the how already, okay? So we're gonna do the same as what we've done just a minute ago. So I'm gonna take my section from the middle, okay? And then we are coming right from the root to the ends. I see my guide and then I'm gonna cut, okay? So I'm working now from the left-hand side and I'm angling my fingers down towards the floor, okay? And then we cut. So we do this all the way up to the top of the crown, okay? So basically the whole back section. Perfect. So you've got something like this. So you want you want it going down like that. So you cut in the middle, so that's your guide, and then you work either side, and then make sure you think angle your fingers down to the floor. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna carry on what I'm um, doing at the back, and then I'll be back. So make sure you work all the way up to the crown. So once you've done that, and I'll be back, okay?